Here's the deal. Most entrepreneurs, business owners struggle because most of them suck at sales. They're just bad salespeople. They might think they're good salespeople. Can't sell worth a shit, okay? So what happens is in the business world, only a certain percentage of people are good at sales. Small percentage. Most are not good at sales because we're not taught how to sell. Most haven't taken any sales training. And then even fewer, fewer people are good at marketing because they think, oh, it's not that important. I kind of focus on my product and service. Why do I need to learn all this marketing stuff? Or they learn marketing at school, which is, which is even worse. And then very, very, very small percentage are actually good with, personal, with branding. Very small percentage. Why is that though? Tell me, why is that? Why are so few business owners good at branding? Yes? Uh, most business owners start their business and have no idea what they're doing initially? They have no idea what they're doing, yes. Yeah. Yes? Most ideas are already taken, somebody else is doing it. Okay, yes. They haven't defined the purpose of doing business. They haven't defined the mission, the purpose of doing business, very true, yes. They probably focus a lot of their energy on sales and marketing and fully put on sales. Yes, one more. Uh, they're not consistent. They're not consistent. Okay, so they might try a little bit, kind of try to brand themselves, but they kind of forget about it and go back to sales, right? Good. Yes, let's do one more. Yeah, in the back? No emotional intelligence, maybe just no intelligence sometimes. <laughs> I don't know, okay. Yes? I think a lot of times business owners, they're just good at what they started out doing. Yes. You know, the widget they produce or whatever it is that yes. they do, not yes. so much on the, on the marketing. Very the nice. Business. How many of you have read the book E-Myth by Michael Gerber? Okay, if you haven't, put on your list E-Myth by Michael Gerber. So E-Myth, phenomenal book for a small business owner. Uh, in the book, Michael talks about that most entrepreneurs are actually not entrepreneurs. E-myth stands for entrepreneurial myth. Most business owners are technicians. They're good at what they do. They have a craft, they have a skill, but they have an entrepreneurial seizure. <laughs> they're doing what they do. They're doing plumbing. They're, doing, they're cutting the grass and mowing the lawn. And suddenly, you know what? My boss kind of sucks. I can do a better job. Let me start a business. They're not actually entrepreneurs. They're technicians with an entrepreneurial seizure. I think the biggest reason of all is branding. Most business owners, we don't think in terms of we are a brand. We think of, OK, Michael Jordan is a brand. Oprah Winfield, that's a brand. Me, John Smith, I'm a brand? What do you mean by that? I'm just, I'm just a person. I'm a, I'm a father. I'm a husband, that we don't think of ourselves. Because I mean, think even, even when we are growing up, that when, when you're growing up, when, if you go to your mom and dad and you say, you know, mom, when I grow up, I'm going to be a rock star. What are your parents going to say to you? You're crazy. You're crazy. Go to school. Go to school. <laughs> Get a freaking job. Huh? Really? No, it's, it's crazy. It's not like, yeah, go son, you rock star. It's just like, it's crazy. It's just like when I told my mom many years ago that I remember, I said, you know, mom, because I was so inspired by all the great speakers, the Brian Tracy, the Tony Robbins, and when I learned public speaking, I told my mom, you know, I said, mom, someday, I, I want to be like that. I want to be a speaker, be on stage, inspiring and, and inspiring entrepreneurs. And then my mom was washing dishes in her kitchen. Mom, I'm going to be a public speaker. Do your homework. <laughs> that was that. And it's very, very normal. So I think we're not taught how, and we don't think of ourselves that way. Does that make sense? That's mostly the issue. So let's talk about what is personal branding. Exactly what is personal branding. First, personal image is not personal branding. Okay? Personal, a personal brand is not a personal image. Because without strategies, all you have is a personal image. So now your personal image is what people instantly see, hear, or perceive at a glance. So let's say the way you dress, you meet someone or they meet you, they look at you, their first impression, that's a personal image. Does that make sense? Yes. Now personal branding is different. Personal brand is what people think of you over the long run, long term. When they say your name, what words come to mind? When you're not in the room, when they're talking behind you, what words come to mind? 
Okay, how is your personal? It's your reputation. It's your brand. Do you have a personal brand right now? Yes or no? Yes. Hello? Yes. Sometimes consciously, sometimes not so consciously, but you have one. Because if I was to talk to one of your friends and say, you know, what do you think of, what do you think of Michelle? Well, she is da 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 da. What is she like? Oh, she is kind of like da 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 da. Yes, we all have that. Okay, and some of your reputation, some of you, not so good. Not so good. So we want to be more. We want to create that personal brand more intentionally. Okay. So a personal brand is not a person. Here's the key. A personal brand is not a person. A personal brand is a key word. Is the Public projection. What's it? Projection. projection of certain aspects of a person, personality, skills, and values. It is not the entire human being. I want to be very clear. You are not personal brand is all, not who you all who you are. A personal brand is the enduring perception. The key word. What's the key word? Perception, perception of the person, not the actual person. <coughs> Here's why: not the actual person, because very few people actually know you anyway. If you think about it, maybe your close friends and family, they know you, yes? Sometimes your spouse doesn't even know you that well. Okay, so, but most people only know your personal brand. They, they have a rough idea of what you like, your personality, your values, but they don't actually know you. So you are not a brand, you're a human being who projects your brand. There's a key distinction there. You're a human being that projects your brand. So as an entrepreneur, of course, then you apply a personal brand to your company, okay? You have a question? Yes? Anytime you have a question, stop me, go to the mic. Anytime. Okay? So a brand is not your, your personal brand is not a personal image. Your personal brand is not, is not a person. Personal brand is just a personal brand. It's a, it's, it's a perception, yes? Okay? So ex what exactly is personal branding? It's a bit long. So personal branding is about creating a unique personal identity around a leading attribute. What is it? Leading attribute. attribute. Managing the perception of your audience to make them feel a certain way about you or your product or service and what you can offer. Just like a product brand. Just like a product brand. A great personal brand pre-sells. Here's the key word. What's the word? Pre-sells. Pre people on you, making them aware of your character, strengths, and personality before they even ever, ever, ever meet you. Great personal brands do not necessarily attract sales. Here's the key. But rather attracts power. Attracts what? Power. power. A personal brand gives the power to influence the decisions, attitudes, and actions of an audience. Is that a pretty clear definition? Now, there are a few key words. Leading attribute, perceptions, managing the perceptions, certain way about your product, pre-sells them, aware of your character, strength, and personality before they even meet you. Let me give you an example. How many of you found out about Vancouver Entrepreneurs Group uh, through a friend, some kind of referral, okay? And so, a lot, most people in this room I have not met, yes? But you would have a certain perception of who I am before you showed up, yes? Good or bad? Good or bad, but you would have a certain perception. So that's personal branding. That's personal branding. And then you could be coming here and say, well, you know what? My friend told me he's a pretty cool guy. That is a pretty cool guy. So that's certain perception, right? Or your perception is, no, that guy, that son of a bitch is a jerk. Shit, I don't even know why I'm showing up. He dragged me here. <laughs> Same guy, two different perceptions, yes? yes? Very interesting. Very interesting. So everything you do affects your personal brand. The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you dress, your education, your neighborhood, your profession, your choice of a spouse, car, friends, the way you sell, negotiate, meet your obligations. When, when people talk about you, are you known for being someone who follows through and gets stuff done, or are you someone who is being known for kind of you know, show up late or not meet your obligations or don't fulfill your promise or flicky? Your customer service, your presentation skill, how well you follow through your, on your promises, the mental pictures ought to have you, and what other people say when you leave the room. Okay, everything you do affects your personal brand. All these things, not just one thing, many, many things. Okay, so let me give you just two minutes. How long? Discuss on my table what you just learned so far. Go! 
10 times your finances, 10 times your business, 10 times your marketing, 10 times your life. Hit the subscribe button now.